and he bounces it in. When it has mattered most, Kent State, which missed 10 free throws earlier, has made three in a row. And listen to this crowd for Justin Green. I love him. How can you not? Checks out with 18 points and six boards, and that free throw is missed. It matters little. And the Kent State Golden Flashes have won the game. They had to win. We didn't close out the half very well. Uh, guys that normally make good plays and smart decisions didn't make good plays and smart decisions. So, uh, you know, to their credit, they came out in the second half, and I think uh, really changed their their mentality from the start of the half. Uh, really got after it on the defensive end, made simple plays on offense, shared the ball, and uh, that's that's the reason why we shot 60% in the second half. So, um, you know, all the credit for that uh, for the turnaround in the second half goes to those guys, the guys on the team. For Kent State, flashes sensing their first lead. Here's a lob play. Michael! Oh my! Chris Evans enters and on cue wakes everybody up. I remember the fans, and I'd like to say that I, I, um, our attendance hasn't been that great that, that we expected this year, but I would like to thank all of the fans for coming out uh, mm -hmm. and supporting us. If it wasn't for the fan base tonight, we couldn't have did it without them. Um, it means a lot to us when fans come and students come and show support. Uh, it's not only us out there playing, but we're playing for our fans, our community, and our school. And Buffalo is surviving without Mitchell Watt. Green again, another chance, goes around Downing, got the banker this time, hold him. He'll hit Randall. Good head fake again, dishing it into the paint underneath. Banker good. They're huge, especially uh, Watt and McCray and uh, this kid named Robinson. He's tough off the bench as well, but you know, you know, we got some guys that can battle too. I'm a battle, like I like I always say. I feel like I'm one of the best league, best bigs in the league as well as as one of the best players. So, uh, you know, I'm always gonna be up for the challenge. You know, uh, I felt like I couldn't really do what I wanted to do down the stretch. Uh, but you know, my team pulled through. We all fought. Everybody stepped up, and uh, we did what we had to do. Jackson back to Chris, top side, off to fake. Here's a pass down low to Jackson Baker, and the flashes have erased the deficit, and they take the lead. Now it's stolen by Gaines. Surrounded by the entire Buffalo team, Eric Gaines has a takeaway. 14-15 into the corner. It is Gaines again. Behind the arc, back to the top they come. Flashes by one. Six minutes into the second period. Guyton on the high right side to Gaines. It would be big. He's found Eric, and again, he, he didn't play a ton of minutes. It's amazing because it, it seemed like he played more because when he was in there, the impact that he had, uh, you know, I thought he changed the game on the defensive end when he, he, he hit the three, four-point play, uh, had a steal on an inbounds pass. I mean, just completely changed the energy for our team and uh, he ended up with a four-point play. So I thought he did a great job. Great job, and, and and as did Pat, who who worked his butt off, you know, guarding, you know, guys like Mitchell Watt and Javon McRae, who are bigger and stronger than him, uh, and Chris Evans also, you know, came in with a lot of energy as well, like you said. Randall to the line, out to Perini, high on the left. 16-12, back to Randall, long three, perfect! Cameron Downing may fire another three, right side, tipped in the air, Guyton has the rebound. Again, Kent State can tie or go up. Nine minutes to play in the first. Behind the back, good action. Down low it comes Jackson, another chance. This time he banks it in to tie the game. And the flashes trail by one. Perini into the corner. Randall trying to match up. He does. Um, we've been talking about not 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 messing up and, and keeping focus and taking care of business to, and, and doing it the way that we can. The only thing we could do that is by winning. We know in, uh, a loss at home. Would knock us out of the standings for for a buy in the MAC championships, and it'd knock us out of out of competing for first place. Um, we just wanted to dig deep. Uh, our coaches challenged us at halftime, and, and we came out and we responded. Michael, right of the center circle to the left side. Dayton hits a triple. No long. Barnett over Green. The rebounded putback. No, and another try is missed. The point blank range by one. Boy, the flashes really get away with one. Up by two, 
Randall for three. Yes! 145 on the clock. Perini will back it up on the high left. The threes have been falling for Kent State in the second half. Shot clock at 10. And they're going to put it in motion. Guyton with six seconds. Head of the key. Long three. High! How did he hit that? We, we tried to milk the clock, you know, to, to shorten the game. Uh, I wanted, the, the only thing I really wanted was there to be less possessions because we were up two. And uh, I also felt in, in, in having trust in our guys that I thought that we could drive them. Uh, we did a good job in the first game being able to drive their guards. And, and I really thought we'd drive and get fouled or make a play that way. And uh, Mike, you know, came off a ball screen, something that we do a ton and kicked it to Scooty, and Scooty was deep, but you know what, he's got a lot of confidence, as well he, as he should, and he knocked down a big shot, huge shot.